Um, what are the benefits of a career in the scientific field? If you're, um, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm answering it from the point of view of being an applied scientist for much of what I do. But if you um, have a sense of curiosity and you like to work out how things work or, or why things do the things they do, then science and or engineering, because there's an overlap between the two of them, um, is, is something that's worth pursuing. It, 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 it has lots of challenges and that ability to actually work out how something works or to have models where you can actually simulate how things work so you can then, um, for example, if the building designs something that's going to uh, be, be then built as a real thing, that's very satisfying to do. And science, um, pure science, has that dimension too, that you can use science for all sorts of modelling and creation of new materials, um, etc. Why would you recommend a career in the timber industry? Um, it's full of challenges, it's, it's exciting, particularly with civil engineering. You have the opportunity to pursue all sorts of different fields. It's a very broad um, field of, of science, civil engineering, and it's very much applied. But with the timber industry, there are opportunities to do research or to carry that research through to application and practice to develop new products. Um, timber is a fascinating material to use because it's a natural material People often think of it as, well, it's just sticks of timber and we can't do much with it. But in fact, it's, it's quite a complex and very, very strong engineering material. And when you gain knowledge of how to use that, the, the world opens up. There's all sorts of possibilities that you can do. So you can build bridges, you can build very large spanning structures. When you get into large auditoriums, timber is one of the best materials you can use because its strength for weight ratio is, is so high because its weight is relatively low compared to its strength. And the challenge of those sorts of, of buildings is that you can come up with all sorts of very interesting architectural forms that look beautiful and perform structurally very, very uh, efficiently. Um, timber offers opportunities because it's a natural material. People relate to it. I mean, the campus that I'm in in Sydney is a concrete building and you never see people going and stroking the concrete columns. It's a cold material. Whereas you see a timber building, it has a human scale to it often and people relate to it. They go and touch the timber. And it's combining that sense of it being a natural material, a, 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 a material that is, is warm, that feels good and looks good, into appropriate structural forms so people feel good about being in the buildings they're in. Of course, the other thing that's important with timber in, in, in today's climate when you're building buildings is that timber is the only truly renewable material. We, we grow new timber and we recycle old timber and we can recycle old timber without having to melt it down or reconstitute it. So we don't have to use a whole lot of energy up to actually recycle timber. There's some energy absorbed, um, obviously, when you produce specialised timber members to start off with. But that energy then is stored um, throughout the life of the structure. The other thing, of course, that's important to, from basic science, you'll know that, that when timber grows, it basically takes carbon dioxide and converts it into cellulose. So you actually store carbon that's being produced. So one of the, the important arguments of, of having managed forests is that when the forest is growing to maturity, in which case you'll cut it down, Whilst that growth cycle is occurring, you're actually storing up carbon. And then if you then use that timber and replant it and go again, you're actually using up more carbon. So that's actually an important thing and no other material that we use in engineering or in architecture for that matter have that ability.